What's up, guys? It's Kim Che! And Tofu! Yeah! yeah. Alright, guys, we're going into episode number three of Diamond is Unbreakable. Yes. The Niji Mura Brothers. Ooh, mm, sounds new like uh, Yeah, sounds like new villains. Uh, last one, we got freaking, uh, what is that? What, what is his name? Rudolph? Angelo. Angelo. Where the, hell, where the hell did I get Rudolph? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> his little creepy friend on him, but I don't know about Rudolph. <laughs> yeah, we got done with Angelo and we're going into Nijimura Brothers. Yes. So, yeah, let's get right into it, guys. All right. The one that Speedwagon found in Egypt 10 years ago. So, wow. It's back in battle in Egypt. Yeah, that's a long time. <laughs> mm. uh. You are going to be a tourist attraction. That's what you're going to be. Yeah. <laughs> so his own is. Right? There was no aura, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm sure he'll kill you both for me. The one wearing a. What? A school gave him power. So there's a student? Wait, so you can actually give a stand? It's like one for all. <laughs> Passing out stands left and right. Yeah. Oh, creepy. Oh, what? That guy has like fold out of hair. Yeah. Oh, bow and arrow. That's probably how he uh passes stand to them. Oh. Whoa! Right through his mouth. It's crying. I I would be crying too if somebody just shot me through the mouth. Oh, so some people cannot do this. Oh, the name Dio comes back up. Oh, so Dio still hasn't died. Well, he's dead, but his he still name, lives on. His name's still. Oh, dude, he's, oh, he's no. uh, possessing the kid! <laughs> he's combing his hair. Oh, stupid hair! Oh. Let's see what he does. Oh, this guy talks too much. Yeah. He just told him everything. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Oh, no, no, he's gonna get bolded back again. Oh, yeah. Where did it go? Oh! Oh, what? the guy that gave this guy a stand is the one that probably gave Dio the stand. Mm. That's what they're trying to figure out. Oh my god, that's a lot of people. Dude, 81? Yeah. <laughs> Angelo. <laughs> Boy. Oh, Bro. somebody's there. Bro. Oh. Yeah, that's the guy that can pass. Yeah. Stand. Of course, he'd live in a creepy house like this. <laughs> right? Dude, he lives right next to him, too. God, this is bad. This is bad news. <laughs> He's lurking. Oh. Oh. Shoot, oh, no. <laughs> His head got stuck! Yeah! Oh, shoot. This guy's from the OP, though. Yeah! I thought this guy is supposed to be their friend. Mm. Yep, she noticed. Yep. Jo Joseph? No! He doesn't look anything like Joseph! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, look at her. She's just so in love with them. Yeah. <laughs> no wrinkles. Yeah, he's not old. Come on. That's probably what 
Joseph used to wear? Uh, I don't know. No. I, it's just, I guess, their facial features are similar. Yeah. Mm. That's nice. But Jotaro was here in his place. So he's not completely mean. Oh, shoot. Who's this bow and arrow aimed towards? <gasps> Whoa. The boy's gonna get a stand down. But it didn't even show a stand for him. Oh, oh my shoot. god. Oh, wait. Jotaro is right here. Her, I mean, um, Jojo is here. Save him. Just oh, yeah, remove you can it. Heal him. Yeah. 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 Shining Diamond. Oh, it's called Crazy Diamond, I guess, but copyright issues make it shining. Oh, oh. yeah, that's the blue one. Oh! I like his face. <laughs> his stand is called Zahand. <laughs> Zahand? Yeah. Something like falls in his hand. <laughs> I like it's like so thug. It's got money signs on it. Even his clothes has money signs. Yeah. So he gave his brother a stand too. His brother didn't have one either. <laughs> wow, dude, this guy's still alive, dude. Oh. <laughs> he just took an arrow to the throat and he's still breathing. Yeah. I wonder what his hand does. Oh. Ooh. Damn. This guy's tough. <gasps> Did he get him? No. <laughs> Something about your right hand. Yeah. It's not sick. Did he fix that? Nope. Oh, because it says no. It was supposed to be no trespassing, right? I guess. Oh, yeah. The tress is missing. Yeah, so it was trespassing. No passing. Hmm. Oh, he has an interesting stand too. Yeah. It's almost like Josuke's kind of. It fixes things, right? Like I said, his own just takes away something and then it closes it. Yeah. It just yeah, changes it. <laughs> you can get rid of the space. Whoa. Oh. That's cool. <laughs> I like his stand. Yeah, his stand is pretty cool. Zahando. <laughs> Get over here. Just say something about his hair so we can get this over with. <laughs> oh, 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 that's something. Oh, right at him. Huh. Wait, how did he do that, though? Because he got rid of the space and it moved the pots to him. Oh. So backfired. Oh, oh no! Yeah, he he, the body! He, he's getting dragged! <laughs> this is so creepy. <laughs> oh. So then he has one. Hmm. That, remember the grandma? Yeah. yeah, she's the one that had this. So she's the one that gave Dio the stand, huh? Yeah. So it's a special artifact, pretty much. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. If they could produce somebody that gets a stand stronger than the world. Yep. Yeah, that's what he's trying to stop. Yeah, because I forgot he, if uh, that bow and arrow was the one that did give Dio the world. And that one was really strong. Yeah, so this one has a potential to um, give someone a stand stronger than Dio's. I, I mean, how yeah. can it be stronger than Dio's? I mean, the thing about Dio's, though, he had a part of Joestar's blood and him. So it's like he has some kind of fusion. Dio was special. Yeah, Dio was special. So, and he was a vampire on top of it. Yeah, and vampire on top of it. So I'm just wondering how an ordinary human or an ordinary person is going to just get a borrowed stand and be stronger than Zawaru though. Mm. How can that happen? Right? Yeah. But then it looks like Koichi is going to get a stand. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Why did he shoot it at him? If he knows that Koichi is going... If, if this 
bow and arrow can give a stand. Because he wanted to give him a stand. Oh, he did? Yeah. Yeah. Why? He said that. He just said, I would, I wanted to give this guy a stand. Mm, okay. So, so he did on purpose. So Koichi's going to get a stand. Uh, if he doesn't die, yeah. Which it, obviously he's not going to yeah, with the stand. I mean, the opening. Yeah, he's not going to die. So he's going to get a stand. And then uh, the guy that says, you know, honestly, it's funny because on their patch, it says billion and trillion. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, the brothers. Yeah, the brothers. The billion is going to be part of Josuke's crew, though. That's what right? we see in the opening. Yeah, that's what we see. Except so, we don't see the brother. Yeah, so the brother, there might... Maybe the brothers are going to turn on each other. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, he, maybe he gets tired of his um, bigger brother talking crap to him. Uh, I don't know. Um, maybe that or they defeat the brother and the, the billion brothers like, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, let me join you or something. I don't know. <sighs> no. I don't know. He's just going to join Josuke's crew. Though. Right. Yeah. yeah it so. shows him behind them. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that uh, we can go into a new part and then realize that stand users don't have to be born with it. Yeah. They, they can just be given. Right. 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 With this artifact. Yeah. I wow. wonder whose voice actor uh, the Billion guy is. He sounds very familiar, too. Oh, yeah, he does. He kind of sounds like a, like a hey, Bakugo type. Sukish not Tsukishima. Uh, who is uh, the gangster one? Oh, uh, Tanaka? Tanaka. Oh, I see. Maybe Tanaka. Oh, probably. Cool. All right, guys. That was episode three of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you soon for episode four. Till then, take care, and we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.